In this video, I'm gonna take you through the anatomy of a 4K website. This website here is for Styx Urban Investments. They're a German venture capital firm. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through the whole process of how we designed and developed this website and successfully charged 4,000 euros for that. Be sure to stay till the end because I'm gonna explain how you can start getting 4K clients and I'm gonna share a few tips with you. So let's dive straight in. Let's get started in Figma because this is where you're gonna be doing your designs. I'm gonna show you first just the entire sitemap. We have a bunch of pages here, roughly 10 pages, which is pretty common for a 4K website. We have a main homepage, contact page. We have a couple of pop-ups here, uh, a news and insights page, which is the blog. We have the individual blog page down here. We have the portfolio page because they're an investment company. They want to showcase what companies they've invested in. That's showcased on the portfolio here. We have a team page, the about us page, uh, the individual portfolio piece. We have a few landing pages for you know, the different customer subsets. We have roughly 10 pages in this project. The next thing I want to go over is the custom design because you could have 10 pages that are from a template but one of the aspects of charging more money for your web designs is by providing a custom solution to the client. You can see that all these pages here, we've actually gone and worked with the client to make custom animations, uh, custom layouts, just so it's more interesting and represents their brand more. You can see here, you know, we've tried to make the layouts a little bit more different than what you would see on just your standard website. So that's a really cool thing here. One other aspect of this project was the brand refresh. We retouched the logo with some fresh new colors. We updated their branding with two beautiful new fonts, and we also worked in some new colors. This allowed us to deliver a website that looked a lot different and a lot more modern than their old website, which was monochrome, I think black and gray, and it just made the client a lot more happy with their branding. A couple of my favorite features of this website are the the pop-up forms, you can see here we've got a couple of pop-ups which I'm going to talk a little bit more about later, but you can see this is just a very bespoke form, uh, they look unique. I also really like the testimonial section here that's going to be infinite and rotating. And just showing you some quick things about the design here, you can see how because it's custom it has a more unique feel to it. There's a lot of things I really like about the design, you know, these cards here. I'm not going to go through the whole website, but just to show you that this is the level of design that you might expect from a 4K website or even above that price tag. FAQs like this and the form locations as well. So that was a bit about the design. I didn't go too in depth on it, but that's roughly what the design looks like of a 4K project. Now let's jump into Webflow where we actually built this website out. You can see we're in Webflow now. And one of the first things that you do when developing the website is build all the pages. All these pages here have been developed in Webflow exactly as they were in Figma. Once you've built out all the pages, then you can start adding things like interactions and little animations. So if I refresh the site here, you'll see there's a little fade in and scale. We have a heading over here that's rotating. If you come down here, you'll see that some of these little boxes fade into the screen. You have a hover interaction on these cards here. These are just little touches that really make a website stand out and look much more smooth, more modern, and clients love this. One of the most important things in development is setting up your client's site so they can manage it going forward. And we do that with CMS collections. Right over here, you can see the CMS. We've got a bunch of CMS collections for things like adding their portfolio companies, news and articles, and their LinkedIn posts, locations and team members. This allows the actual client themselves to go and manage their own website. Now I'm not gonna to go too in depth of you know, how to make CMS collections, but basically here in Webflow, we have a bunch of the blog posts here and each you know, blog post they wanna add. All they have to do is add in their data here, the images, put in the content and click create. And then it will actually publish that on the front end automatically. We also did some very basic SEO where if you go into the page settings here, you can see you can actually add title tags, meta descriptions, this kind of basic thing is also expected when you're setting up a website in Webflow. Next, I wanna talk about lead generation because a website's purpose is often to generate leads for the client or further their business in some way. 
So what we've done on this website is clients of theirs can submit their pitch deck like this. And we have a really beautiful animation on this here where they can actually select where they're based in Europe. And you know, they can open and close this anytime they want to. What I really like is that this allows sticks to qualify their leads coming in. They know where they're based. They know their funding target here. They have a way to contact them. It's a way for them to actually sort through who are the leads they want to be talking to and who's actually not a good fit for them. And also we have a way that uh, users can download the brochure, which is basically Stix's pitch deck and their PowerPoint, where you can learn more about their company. So by now you're probably getting a bit of an idea of what a website looks like, how it's built, how it's designed, and what clients expect from you. I wanna end this video by talking about a few ways that you can start getting 4K clients as well. Now, the bottom line here and the truth is that in order for a client to pay 4K for a website, they need to have 4K in their budget. So this means you need to be working with clients that have at least 4K in their budget for a website. My first tip is start making content in English. This means that clients that have higher budgets, you know, generally speaking, English speaking countries, you know, that's gonna help you find more clients like this. The next tip I have for you is share video mockups on LinkedIn. It's a really great way to stand out. And I just made a video about some After Effects templates for designers that will help you stand out because high budget clients definitely have an eye for quality. And if you're sharing quality mockups of your work that really grab attention, you're more likely to attract 4K clients. Another way to find 4K clients is to use freelancer platforms that are less known. Most designers go on Upwork or Fiverr where there's a huge amount of competition. What I did and how I got my start in design is I signed up through the Unicorn Factory. Now, this is a very small freelancer network in New Zealand and you might want to find, you know, in your country, is there a, a community of people that are posting jobs on a job board? For me, it was actually quite simple to start getting leads through this uh, small community because there was way less competition. Another example is this website called Fulk. It's a Norwegian website. And while I've never used it, actually a friend of mine recommended it if I wanted to find you know, Norwegian clients or clients in different countries. Websites like this, try and find them so that you can get those opportunities because they often have more discerning, more high value clients on these other platforms. So try and find one that you can be a part of that's in your country or even within your niche. Hope this video has been useful just to give you a little bit of an insight into what it's like to be a web designer, how much you can charge, what work is involved, and a couple of the platforms that you can use to do your work. If you've got any questions, please reach out to me and subscribe for more good videos for designers, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.